Hi, Junior with today's thought. I don't know how many, or if I even have any viewers from overseas watching my, my thoughts, but if there are, one thing that we all have in common is listening to boring speeches from politicians. Most of the speeches that politicians make are just boilerplate in there, you know, yada, 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 you know what they're going to say. And usually the speech is a way of saying they're going to do something when they're really not going to do something. But every so often, you will hear a speech that is so powerful, so to the point, that it, it, it's just refreshing to hear and very rare and I'm going to share one of those speeches with you right now. It's only about two minutes, about less than two and a half minutes. It's an Israeli uh, politician, legislature, a member of the Israeli parliament, which they call the Knesset. So a member of the Knesset or an MK on the floor of the U European Union calling out the European Union for their anti-Israel, anti-Semitic, let's be frank about that, um, double standard for Israel bias. And let's go right to the speech. Madam President, I must admit I came to Israel with my speech. But when I hear some of your speeches, too many unfortunately, I'll speak to you directly because honestly, I come to a very respectful platform and I think that today, the debate of today when I hear your speeches is a disgrace for your platform and you're staining the place where you're sitting. And I'll tell you why. Because people violated my sovereignty, entered my homes, entered kibbutz, entered little towns and took, pick up, did not kill because kill is too easy. They slaughter, they rape, they hijack. They mutilate. Why? Because you're Jewish. What has happened eight years ago? You do it because you're Jewish. But there's a big difference. Eight years ago, what did a Jew do when he was raped, mutilated, assassinated, killed? What did he do? He ran away. He flee. What does he do today? He defends himself. But my God, the Jew cannot defend himself because immediately all of you will speak of crimes, world crimes. You, don't, you must understand one thing. I hear many of you here and you speak in this platform honorable again, but you know what drives me? I mean, yes, drives me crazy. I hear zero compassion. Now forget my 136 hostages. Okay, you're very far, you don't think of them. But let me talk to you about one specific one. And you know why I say one? There is one that when he was hijacked, he was nine months years old. A week ago, he celebrated his one years, his one year old, one year old. So I would expect you, the ones who now give their speeches, to show a little bit of compassion to the Jew, but you will not do it. So I want to tell you something. There is something I want you to understand. Hamas terrorists are the new Nazis. And if you do not understand that, you understood nothing. But there is one thing after those speeches that I hear, those disgrace, those shameful speeches I hear. I did not come here to Strasbourg to speak to you in order to justify myself, I came as an accuser. And my God, when I was a kid, I asked my parents, you know, eight years ago when you had the Holocaust, where were all those people, I mean, where they were killing Jews? Why didn't they say anything? And I come here to Strasbourg, and I understand the child that was asking the questions, because if some of you are in your speeches, my God, thank God, some Jews, you are not their neighbors. Thank you very much. Nothing I can add to that except to say that thanks for uh, dropping by. If you could subscribe, that would really be great. Share this video with anyone you think would benefit from it. But most of all, come back and see me again. I would love to see all of you again. And until I do see all of you again, bye.